Man steals shoes off a front porch, then breaks into a house, taking cash and other items. Surveillance video showing him going door to door in the Arbor Lodge neighborhood. Our Jenny Young spoke to several people tonight, a homeowner who says simply taking a shower when he realized, Jenny, this guy was inside his home. Jeff, this is kind of a wild story, but fortunately no one was hurt in it. And we do have a lot of surveillance video to show you, but I want to say we did um, blur out this man's face because we've reached out to Portland police. And although they know about this incident, they aren't calling that man a suspect. So we did blur his face. I was at work actually and saw on the camera someone was at the front door. But as you can see, it wasn't the mailman who was on Ryan Reef's front porch Monday afternoon. The uninvited guest peeks through the windows, then tries opening the door. When he couldn't get inside, he does something odd. He trades out his shoes for a pair of pink sandals outside Reef's door. Quite the situation. Um, and he wasn't afraid of contact. I think he spoke to a couple neighbors. We talked to a couple of neighbors here on Campbell Street who interacted with the man. Listen closely. It sounds like he's speaking in a British accent here. Yeah, hello, how are you? And here he is in the driveway of another house. Notice the pink sandals. The camera catches him trying to open this car door. It's locked, so he turns and walks away. There was, unfortunately, one very unlucky neighbor on this street Monday afternoon. I could hear somebody singing in the shower in my living room from my shower, and I thought that was odd. And so then I got out of the shower, I was drying off, and I saw somebody jiggling my uh, bathroom door handle that was locked and so that was kind of sketchy so I yelled stop it stopped by the time Aaron wrapped himself in a towel and made it to the living room the front door was wide open and the guy was gone along with Aaron's wallet and a knife there was 215 cash credit cards bank card ID then I noticed 13 inch kitchen knife was missing missing so I'm glad I didn't open the door <laughs> earlier <laughs> Aaron, who didn't want us to use his last name, says he was alerted that the man tried using his credit cards at a nearby bar and at Safeway. And just when you thought this story couldn't get any more bizarre, Aaron says he showed up at that Safeway today where he found, look here, his neighbor's pink sandals in the candy aisle. Ladies working at the customer service counter, they were they said, I'm not, I'm not touching the sandals. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to take them back. So I'm just going to surprise my neighbor and bring his sandals back. The neighbor, he says, was elated to get those sandals back, and he still doesn't have his wallet or um, ID or anything back. But I did hear from Aaron uh, just earlier tonight. He said that police reached out to him, and they stopped somebody. They've been patrolling looking for this guy, apparently. They stopped somebody, but Aaron says wasn't the guy. They let that person go. So still um, on the lookout for this person, according to Aaron. And again, we're checking back in with PPB to find out if... They're going to call this guy a suspect, and what's next if they do catch him? Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Point Six News. Well, you're